Well, glory to God, welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durbin with my son in the faith, Pastor Eric Lemon. We are just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1, says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. And we're just uh, glad uh, that you're able to join us uh, this uh, next half hour. And we've been teaching on the subject of faith, and uh, that's what this network is all about. Word of Faith Broadcasting Network. Thankful to uh, Dad Tilton for uh, building this network and uh, allowing uh, my ministry to be a part of it. And uh, we're, just, we're just thankful because I know what television can do. I know what, and now we're, we're, we're talking, uh, Pastor Eric, not just television, we're talking the internet, internet and all the platforms. On, on demand. Yeah, yeah, on demand. Mm -hmm. And uh, boy, if, I, if I'd have had this back in the day, you know, I'm, I'm wearing those cassette tapes out, you know. <laughs> but uh, uh, we're glad you're with us. And if you missed any of what we've been teaching, uh, you can go back into the archives or go to our YouTube channel and uh, watch them. And uh, Pastor Eric, just just thankful that you, that you're able to take time out of your busy schedule. Of course, I'm the one that makes your schedule busy. <laughs> Pastor Eric uh, is uh, on staff here at Faith Victory Church, and he's over media and just is doing a, a phenomenal job uh, at uh, that. And we'll continue to grow in excellence as uh, God. Uh, as the seasons change. Yes, sir. So uh, let's jump back into this where we've been uh, this week on faith and, and our springboard verse is it been 2 Corinthians 4 and uh, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal or subject to change, but the things which are not seen are eternal or subject not to change, yeah. right? And so we've been talking this week, Eric, about uh, how to live this faith life above our five physical senses mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, our eyes have a tendency uh, to give us information that uh, can overwhelm us mm -hmm. if, if we don't have an abundance of God's word in our heart. And that's why the Bible says, if your eye be single, mm -hmm. and, and you know the light of the body is it's the eye, eye. Mm -hmm. and if your eye be single, then your whole body is full of light. Well, John chapter one tells us that his word is light. Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light mm -hmm. unto our path. So the more enlightenment that we have, and, and we've been talking about the three sets of eyes, mm -hmm. our uh, physical eyes, and then our mental eyes, soulish eyes, and then our spiritual eyes. And uh, once, our, once those spiritual eyes are open, they override even what your natural eyes are telling you. Mm -hmm. I remember out in the Marshall Islands, you've heard this story mm -hmm. countless times, with the wild dogs. Mm. And the Lord had told me to go to the end of the island and pray. And uh, those wild dogs uh, would hunt at night, not mm. during the day. Yeah. And I'm down there sitting on the picnic bench. It, it, it was like a peninsula. You know, it was the end of the island. And here come that whole pack of dogs. And, and uh, I thought to myself naturally, that the wind was blowing in, in the right direction to where they wouldn't smell me. Mm -hmm. And so I thought I had it made and they were just about ready around that corner when one dog looked over at me, saw me and came at a full speed barking and, and my first instinct, there was one coconut tree right there beside that uh, picnic table was to stand up on that picnic table and, and then jump up and climb up that sure. coconut tree. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, sit still. Now, my natural eyes were being overwhelmed 
by this whole pack of dogs snarling and running at me and yet God's word says to me, sit still. And then I started speaking in tongues and, and uh, when I wasn't speaking in tongues, I was quoting scripture. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You give an angel's charge over me, keep me in all up my ways. Mm. And Eric, you know, you've heard this story many times, but when that, when that lead dog got, you know, from here to that camera to jump, uh, out of me came, Lord, you said when the enemy comes in one way, he'd flee seven. I didn't even know where I got that scripture. Mm -hmm. And they hit an invisible wall. If, if you would have, uh, when we get to heaven, this is one I want to show everybody because their faces, mm -hmm. it would be like if they, it was a, a big thick glass, mm -hmm. bulletproof glass, their faces hit it and they ran into each other, couldn't get past it. Mm -hmm. But now my natural eyes are seeing a supernatural miracle happen mm -hmm. in front of me. But now if I'd have acted, now I'm not telling somebody to do that. This is what God told me to right. do, right? Mm -hmm. And God takes the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Yeah. And what's foolish is when it goes against the natural. Mm -hmm. See? And so uh, the training in faith not to go by uh, what you see uh, you know, we've all heard the story about doubting Thomas, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Except I see the scars and thrust my hand in the side, I will mm -hmm. not believe. Yeah. And, and, of course, Jesus appeared to Thomas and said, uh, hey, and, and, and Thomas, once he saw that, said, my Lord, my God. And and and, and Jesus said, well, uh, that's, that's good, Thomas, but uh, blessed are those that have not seen and yet believe. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking more than just believing that you're saved yeah. and going to heaven. Right. We're talking about life-changing things that are necessary to be victorious in this life. Mm -hmm. You following that? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, you get the doctor's report, you get the, you get the, the lawyer said this, or uh, your child is saying that, or... Uh, you know, uh, you didn't get accepted in that college or, or, or whatever. Faith turns it around. Mm -hmm. But how it turns it around is God's word out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, out of the abundance of the spirit. And a lot of times uh, Christians don't take the time mm -hmm to fill up on God's word. That's why we have these conferences. Yeah. That's why we have these faith rallies. It's to uh, go beyond the natural three services a week. Uh, and that, our three services a week, is more than most churches right. uh, do because they're three full-blown services. Right. But uh, what we do is, like Brother Copeland says, we immerse ourselves yeah in the word to where the word overwhelms our five physical senses. You know, we used to play this game as kids, they blindfold you. And then they put something in your hand. Mm. And you had, you had what is it? yeah, what yeah. is it? Yeah. Well, you know, they'd put something in that felt real gooey mm -hmm. or they'd something hard or whatever. Yeah. And you were left just with the touch or smell, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. To try to figure out what that was. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you come up with all kinds of conclusions because you couldn't see it. You can't, tr you can't trust the, those physical senses. No. Isaac did. He trusted in when his eyes were getting mm -hmm. dim. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and Jacob came in all, uh, you know, disguised as his brother. And uh, his mom put him up to it. And uh, Isaac even said, his voice, voice sounds like Jacob. Yeah. Not like Esau, but 
He feels like Esau. He smells like Esau. So it must, must be, be Esau. Esau. <laughs> <laughs> right. right? So that's, and that's how Jacob, mm -hmm. you know, stole the blessing and so on and so forth. So uh, Eric, learning to see from here and not from here. You know, we need our eyes yeah. to drive and, and to do daily whatever. Yeah. We need these eyes. I, I had a, last was it last year or the year before, like I actually had a, a situation where I lost eyesight in this eye. Hmm. I was working outside, had goggles on, but something fell off of the roof or off of where they were, they're working and got into my eye. Mm. I, I left the, you know, work site and I went to the bathroom and, you know, they call it eye wash. Mm -hmm. I knew something got in there and, you know, kind of blinked and was hurting a little bit and I, it was good. It was gone. Well, the next day, uh, my eyesight kind of was like, I don't know if you ever went swimming in the chlorine pool. Yeah. And open your eyes. You can see people around you, but it's a real cloudy look. Oh, okay. You know, that's kind of how it was the next day. And it stayed like that for I don't know how long. And then it just started getting dimmer and dimmer to where I, I it, it was just like this. I couldn't see out that eye as far as, I mean, I couldn't see. It was black, you know. I never knew that. Yeah, but. But what, what was you doing? Yeah, I was standing on this word. And I don't know, honestly, I don't know if. It was, uh, you know, there, there's a gift of faith, which is one of the, mm -hmm. you know, spiritual gifts. Um, but I knew, I mean, that from the time it, it started going, I just knew that ain't, no, I ain't receiving that. No. I mean, it was so real to me that this, just like how Jesus said about, you know, um, Lazarus, it's not a sickness unto death. Mm -hmm. You know, or not, was that wasn't Lazarus. Um, but like. I knew that this is not, I'm not going to be blind. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just did. I, I don't received this. Yeah, I walked, I, I, this was actually one of the scriptures I spoke, um, that seeing God and hearing the ear, the Lord's made them both. And um, I just knew that I knew that this is this not, it doesn't end like this. Mm -hmm. You know, and then just like it went, you know, I don't know how long it was, it was half a day or a day, I don't know, but it, it started coming back. Got real dark. It was real dark and cloudy. Went back to looking like the swimming pool, and then praise my God, full eyesight back. Praise God. But um, you know, I didn't freak out about what I was seeing or what I wasn't seeing. You know what I'm saying? Didn't let fear in. Mm -mm. But I, it was it was a very real. The natural situation was I was naturally losing mm. eyesight mm. and lost eyesight in that eye. Mm. But you know, I let what I was seeing here override that and didn't, you know, like I said, didn't panic, didn't freak out like, oh, I got to go to the doctor. Oh, yeah, right, I mean, I right, just, right, right. And I stood on that word and I, I was fully persuaded. And uh, just like it went, it came back. Mm, powerful, powerful, powerful. You know, as you're, as you're talking, I'm thinking about that scripture, I have not seen mm. nor ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared. Yeah. But, God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. Mm. He says, I ain't seen it. Yeah. The natural eye, the natural ear ain't heard it. But God reveals these things by his spirit. Mm. And, uh, you know, when uh, you get a revelation, mm. God has revealed re revelation. Yeah. When, when that revelation comes, like what, what you just uh, testified about you knew down in here you had a revelation the seeing eye and the hearing ear God has made both of them mm -hmm. no 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 I ain't receiving being blind in my eye my goodness what's that what's that all about right mm -hmm. and uh, your faith rose up to the occasion mm -hmm. faith turned it around mm -hmm. now again we're not against doctors we're not against uh, medical science uh, but but your faith was at a level to where this looks like a job for faith. And you and you and you took it on and uh turned that turned that around big time. Well, uh our knowing the difference between common sense mm -hmm. and wisdom. Mm -hmm. We need common sense uh just to 
put our shoes on. Yeah. Right? But we need wisdom that supersedes common sense uh, to function in turnaround miracles. Mm. Because uh, miracles don't make sense to the common man. Mm. It, it, it just doesn't. It, it can't compute. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, years ago, there was a guy that uh, I think he took it upon himself like he was mentoring me in Alberta. And, he, you know, we just, we just, we were just loving everybody. And, uh, you know, uh, he uh, came out to the farm and, uh, you know, he was sharing scripture with us, you know, and we're just baby Christians, but at the same time, we got this miracle going on at the farm mm. of, you know, putting water and electricity in the barn. Mm. And uh, our electricity was $300 uh, behind, mm. and uh, we needed another $300 to uh, put electricity into the barn. And, you know, we're out there in the field and, you know, uh, we're talking and Alberta, meanwhile, went to the mailbox out by the road and then she comes skipping across the front lawn, jumping up and down, waving this envelope, saying, Philip, Philip, look, am I reading this right? You know, and, and at the time, I had a heathen friend of mine who's now saved but he was going to do the electricity for me. And uh, out to the pump once we got it. And where our well was. And uh, she come running up and I opened that up and it said our bill was paid in full mm. and there's $300 credit. I, Eric, I, I dropped to my knees, <laughs> lifted my hands and just started praising God. Just, I mean, glory to God. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. I pray, give you. And that guy said, You're being a stumbling block to your heathen friend. I'm thinking to myself, Now, this guy's been saved years, right? Mm. And he said this You got to have some common sense. Mm. I said, well, if that's common sense, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. That God just did a, a, a $300 debt cancellation and put $300 back in to where I can run electricity. I don't care. I don't care who. I don't care if it was the president of the United States. I'm dropping to my knees and magnifying God, mm -hmm. right? And uh, see, that's how religious folk think. Yeah. Uh, Michael. David's yeah. the same thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, right, right. And so uh, to uh, live this life of faith, there are things that God will challenge us to do beyond our natural mm -hmm. uh, common sense way of thinking. Mm -hmm. That's where the prophetic comes in. Mm -hmm. The prophetic will say, uh, you know, dig ditches here. And God's going to fill it full of water. Yep. Make me a cake first. For thus saith the Lord, your food supply will never cease. On and on and on. What have you got in the house? Mm -hmm. Nothing but a pot of oil. Well, thus saith the Lord. You know, so all these things, you know, the prophet got up and said about, about this time tomorrow. Yeah. Everything, the whole financial uh, situation is going to change. And that guy that uh, was uh, uh, the advisor to the king says, you know, oh, how might this thing be if, if, if God was to open up the windows of heaven? How would this thing be? And the prophet said, you'll see it, but you'll not partake of it. Yeah. And uh, he was relying on the natural. But there was four lepers that heard that and said, well, wait a minute. Why sit we here till we, we die? die? Mm -hmm. And uh, it says they rose at twilight. And when they rose at twilight, you read the scriptures, that's when God started moving. Mm -hmm. When somebody starts moving well, uh, in, 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 in the natural with a supernatural expectation, mm -hmm. 
God moves. And, and that's the whole thing about uh, we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, I'm, I've learned a lot of times, you know, God knows more than you do what level of faith you got. Yeah. But sometimes you got it and it's dormant. I mean, it's in it's in there, but mm. he wants it to, he want, he got you got to give him something to work with. Mm. So he'll have you do an action of faith of some sort, taking a step, doing this, saying this, you know, looking for, look, going out and looking if you're looking for a place or, you know, sowing a seed. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's a praise. Sometimes it's, 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 you know, signing the paper and don't send it in or whatever. You do whatever it is in the situation, God will lead you. But sometimes just doing that little action of faith, once you take that step, then you're showing God, I believe it, you know. And it snaps you out of the natural. Yeah. Snaps you out of the natural. I remember, uh, uh, well, not just one time, several times, financially. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'd be at like this dull place. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, we would uh, go to God, say, what's going on? And God would, would challenge us to sow a seed. And we're like, we already got seed out there, a lot of seed, right? But what, what, what happened was the seed that was out there we were losing our expectation for the harvest on it. So when he challenged us to sow this seed, that seed got our expectation on receiving back in motion. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so uh, whether we got that, that seed that we just sown, we're, we weren't really interested in uh, a financial harvest, mm -hmm. we're interested in getting our expectation on the harvest that's already yeah, out there. Yeah. And and God knows how to stir us. You know, uh, one, and one, one time in particular, he just said, double all your partnership. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa I'm out here. <laughs> you know, we're already right. tithing, giving the missions, and, and we had several partners that we were connected to, and the Lord says, double all your partnership. Oh my goodness! So uh, and there'll be some people that they looking at, you know, they look at their checkbook and look at their finances, and I can't afford to do that. Exactly. Looking by what they can see, I it, can't afford to do it, that. Mm -hmm. Whatever he saith unto you, Eric, that's what we're to do. And I've learned that when he says something, you've heard me preach this many times. Uh, God's answer to you can be your problem. Mm -hmm. Because what he, when, when you hear from God, like double all your partnership, uh-oh, I was just asking you about the financial situation you're in. And he answers me with that. Mm -hmm. Now the answer became my problem. When really it, it, it's, it's, the problem is the natural. Mm -hmm. The natural trying to figure out, well, how will we do this? How will we do that? Most of the time it's not a hard thing physically hard it's hard on your on your soul because, yes because you're trying to figure out how figure yeah out how's this gonna work or where's it gonna come from and you know that's that's what makes it challenging mm -hmm. but usually what the step that he has you to do is not something that's physically hard for you to do well you know? the prophet the naaman goes to the prophet yeah gonna get healed of his leprosy mm -hmm. and he and the prophet don't, don't even come out mm -hmm. go dip yourself in the jordan seven times we goes way mad. Mm -hmm. But one of his aides said to him, well, if he'd have told you to go whoop, you know, 100, 100 people because he was a mighty warrior, you'd have done that. Mm -hmm. How much more this? Right. How much more mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. Because in the natural, there was this battle going on within him. Who's he think he is? I mean, the rivers where we come from are cleaner than this right. river and on and on and on and on. And then the revelation hit how much more. Mm. And he set aside that natural, dipped down seven times, came up clean. But he wouldn't clean after six. You know? That's right. He could have still looked at the natural and said, well, this ain't working. And walked away from mm. it. And we got to walk away from this program mm. because we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're enjoying this. Again, at the bottom of the screen is our 24-hour uh, uh, prayer line for you and uh, you know if you need prayer for any area of your life perhaps you're watching this program and and uh, 
you haven't never accepted Jesus as your personal Savior or you've gotten away from him. And you're not living like you're supposed to be living. Call that number. Talk to those people. They'll pray with you and for you and get you back on track with God. And uh, you want to know more about this ministry? You can go to our website, faithvictorychurch.us, and scroll through there. You want to know more about uh, Pastor Eric's uh, music? Uh, you go to j-air.com, uh -huh. and, and uh, you can uh, sample his music there, and, and uh, you can get his albums wherever digital music is distributed so uh we're going to continue on this tomorrow hope you're enjoying this i know i'm getting i'm getting fired up you know talking about it and uh so anyways uh my favorite verse ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 says where the word of a king is there is power be a blessing the power of faith programs are available on youtube 24 7 so you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode, or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.